Hey there, this is K4A Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials. In this video today we are going to learn how to import and export 3D models into Nomad Sculpt and um, we are going to try to connect it to previous video which we had problems with importing FBX into Blender into Sculptor. So let's try with Nomad Sculpt and learn that way something about normal sculpt too but also solve the problem which we uh, created in previous video uh, I am currently on web nomadsculpt.com slash demo uh, and this is cool I have all the tools which I need but the problem is that I don't have export option here so if I click on this folder icon on my left top corner menu not the first one but the second one the second icon it will open the project menu with import and export but it says export trial ver version no export web version is only a demo so this will not fix my problem for exporting it can probably import it but export is a big no here so we're going to find the nomad desktop version which has i think it has import export but it doesn't have all the tools yeah the same thing here project folder this time we have the, both the import and export so let's try to import the fbx but before that again for all of you who weren't very focused go to the top left corner the second icon menu button from the left on your menu with folder like artwork click on it it will open project menu scroll down click and scroll down until you find import i don't want to go into advanced i'm not advanced yet in normal nomad sculpt i want to go to import click on it desktop nice i just need to find my hamburger uh copy fbx here it is open okay another menu uh add to scene which means my hamburger 3d model will be added next to the sphere i don't want to do that i want a new project I want to keep topology or maybe try without checking it skip textures again I'm not going to change any of those maybe some of those color spaces are needed but let's go with auto auto uh, the only thing which I'm going to click here is new project I want to have my hamburger only on the screen hamburger only if i say add to scene it will be added to sphere so new project oops that was fast uh, here it is it looks like this guy here right i can rotate this one here and i can rotate this one here they look the same nice so we have imported this guy here the next thing which i want to try and learn is to export it why because i couldn't open this guy here as fbx in blender and in sculptress so i will try to save it now as obj to export it as obj so it's the same file is the same thing the same model we're just changing the formats of it the extensions but everything else should be the same it's just the file format so different softwares could read those okay same thing go to project this time export and select obj here it is i can even go to apply stl obj gltf nomad nomad has its own extension it seems okay i will select obj again lots of those options which i'm not going to explain today or even 
care about those color space phase group right objects I will just hover over those fast to see if some of those is really important no I think they're all cool um, layers will be lost I don't care about that click on export obj and again where to export it on desktop I will call this one instead of hamburger copy I will call it hamburger um yeah maybe even copy was okay because this was obj yeah i will leave cancel export yeah i will leave the same name because the file format the file extension is obj that that's cool we will have hamburger copy fbx and now hamburger copy obj okay uh that's cool i think let's uh okay i i'm not going to close this app yet because maybe i will need to uh create some of the changes uh, but now we have fbx which couldn't open in blender and sculptures now let's try with obj okay so blender again new file this time file import obj wavefront uh, desktop hamburger copy obj and let's pray it will open import okay and here it is it showed up here in scene whatever it's called window uh, i will try to uh, yeah my mouse is not working but I can see him outlined here very small and I'm not yeah this is rotating yeah jumping from software to software can be funny when you when controls are changed uh, anyway I want to hide cube and here it is the eye icon oh cool so I want to zoom here it is hamburger now is in blender so we did it uh, it worked so we find a workaround and we did it again on some kind of uh, our way which at least my way it makes sense to me to try to open it uh, in different uh, software if it if I need that uh, and if it doesn't work again try for another software which can open it and export it to another file format which you can later import it in a blender or whatever you need uh, so you can now for example I can now change the uh, I don't know move um, this guy here I have no idea how yeah I want to change the um, vertex mod how it's called here and stuff like that but I cannot find it anyway and doesn't matter I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, lose any more time here, but I think, yeah, let's try to open it in Sculptris just in case. So Sculptris couldn't open FBX, but let's try with importing OBJ, hamburger copy OBJ. New scene. Mm, go to paint, no. Oh error again so this time sculptors software gives me error that some of the vertex ver vertices from the hamburger model has too many connections this is crazy so blender opened it but sculptors still cannot do it so you can see again uh, we have solved the problem for blender but not for sculptures and again it was a very very good example at least from my point of view to show you to teach you how um, how um, working in game dev and not only in game dev but with 3d stuff and not only 3d stuff same things goes for 2d and whatever you are going to create can be confusing, can be uh, problematic, can uh, 
um, however you call it, you, you will face so many problems uh, when you want to try to do simple things. So we started with simple thing. I want to change the shape of this hamburger 3D model. I export it from Unity. I want to import it into Blender and it, it wasn't working like that. I want to import it in Sculptress and it wasn't working like that. So I needed to open it in Nomad Sculpt, then export it in different file format and then open it in Blender. And even that didn't work for Sculptress. So you can see how messy and crazy and uh, stupid or however you want to call it things can become and you lose your time on those you some people lose lots of those some people just are um, find different kind of workarounds i think that you have some kind of uh, uh, plugins and importers and uh, converters and stuff like that so you pick whatever you want to finish your job but again you're going to lose your time your nerves uh, but that's just the way the industry works the how game development and general IT industries uh, are working today and will work in future so many different formats files files extensions softwares they all push their own formats ideas uh, workflows and it crashes and uh, collides sooner or later uh, that's it for this video yeah uh, thanks for watching see you in uh, next one i uh, think this will go into nomad sculpt uh, tutorials because we have learned how to import export from it but um, we have also learned how to solve the problem from previous video but again yeah you you remember how uh, even this desktop version has the export import the web version doesn't have it so it's always it's always jumping from one hoop to another and so on anyway see you in the next video thanks for watching and bye for now